Okay, so today is the 21st of April, as we can see here, Wednesday. So I've got in front of me um, Oz 200. Now this index we spoke about last time, or oh, the indices we spoke mm. about last time. Let me get, okay, um, just a second. So the Oz 200, now this part of the, this part of the um, chart is our cell zone. We've been talking about it before. So this was our cell zone here, plus we had room all the way up to double top slightly higher and divergence. Now this week, selling on PST lines was the option. So selling here immediately in the opening was a good idea. Also in the previous videos, I said for SP 500, um, 9 a.m. on Monday, 5 p.m. yesterday. So um, this is also relevant for this. If you take a look at it, this was, well, what is it? This was six, because I said it would come down to about my lunchtime, which is my lunchtime here around, so 1 p.m. here. So the SP500 was going to fall at least until lunchtime. Uh, same with the other indices, because they're going together, all right? And so this is not a surprise here. So on Monday, we had, I think Monday, we had 5 p.m. Yes, on Monday, we had 5 p.m., which was there okay 5 p.m bar on the sp 500 it was better because it just made a heads up but on monday we had 5 p.m yesterday we had 9 a.m so that was that one there 9 a.m market pulls up and good to sell so today okay let's take a look at it technically now on the daily we've come to the targets and this week is going to be volatile okay because of some astrological phenomena happening especially Friday um, is going to be dodgy. So you want to keep an eye out for Friday as well. But overall this week would we'll probably have, um, you know, more volatility than usual. And that's actually good because it'll probably point out the turning points and we were expecting a signal for the market to do some kind of turn and looks like it's done it. So on the weekly, we can follow this down all the way here, but be mindful, see where they bought here, right? Right on the line sold on the line, bought on the line. So I've been also saying you can sell on the line and buy on the line. So anyone who sells on the line and buys on the line is always in a less risky situation. And it's not a surprise, the market bounced off nicely. Okay, Because if you think about it, the market's still in that up mode, right? So we're still in this up mode until this channel is broken anyway. But we'll probably come to the bottom of the channel. And this week, if we close down, if we close lower, then next week any pop-up will be a good opportunity to sell again. Okay, so we can follow this that way. If you want to take your chance of selling again, you can, but wait for it. What you can do on the daily is, because we had look three days like straight fall, the market is bound to do some retracement. You can always put a Fibonacci on here and let the market come to you. See how it's nicely fitting PST levels. So leave it like this. Okay, put it on and leave it like this. Let it come to you over the course of the next few days or next week even. And then this will be your kill zone again. Okay, see where all the lines are pretty much, um, you know, stacked up here. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar as well while we're here. Now on the Aussie dollar, we've drew our lines, where are we? Let's do this. Okay. Now this was also, look, goodbye kiss straight down. Okay, this is the daily. And if you think about it, okay, it's all looking good. Um, weekly, right on the PST again, 62.64, right? It says 62.64, that's there. 7804, 7804 is here. Market just went slightly higher and just crumbled down, okay? Shoulder, head, shoulder. Now remember, head and shoulders is at the end of a trend, so it's not just anywhere. So if you look at this, we've been having a bit of a small upwards trend. So if this head and shoulders also happens here, 
then we'll have room to come down to here again, just like this head and shoulders here is about to take us all the way down to around here, okay? Same as the neck length. And look how nicely here, right? Beautiful because the trend line is way down. It's way down, it's far down. So any pop-up is a good opportunity to push it down here. And on the weekly, let's see where we're at. On the weekly, yeah, if the market starts coming down, then we'll come back all the way down to here. So we've got room to come down. This is a good opportunity to be shorting it next week. Also, we'll have an opportunity to short it. So any time to short it is a good time. Like I said, if it comes up again here, it's not bad. Head and shoulders down. Let's take a look at SP500 and the Euro dollar and gold. Okay. Now then, this is SP500. Now on SP500, remember on Monday, we said 9 a.m. That's the, oops, that's, where are we? Is that Monday? Wednesday, Tuesday. On Monday, we said 5 p.m. Sorry, got it confused again. So Monday, we had 5 p.m. to look out for. And that's 5 p.m. Then 9 a.m. That's 9 a.m. And we said this wasn't a bad place to sell with a tight stop loss here. And then we said it'll fall at least until lunchtime. Nice yep. fall until lunchtime. Pull up. See how nicely that worked? Yep. Goodbye, kiss. Weekly pivot. Bang. It's just magic. Now we're in a downwards move. Let's take a look at the daily to see where we're at. Now on the daily, we've done all the PST targets, okay? On the price, we've got still a bit more room to come down. The market is still in an upwards trend, okay? So it's still going up, okay? So we've got to be mindful when selling and not get excited. But you can see we've got room to come down, okay? On the weekly. Yep. So we yep. can be coming down all the way here. What have we got here? 4,078, which is not too far out. And on the price, it's 4,026. And here it's 4,095. 4,078 is just about there. All right, so it's pretty close, as you can see, right? Yep. Okay, so it's pretty close. Let's do this. So we've still got a bit of room to come down. Now, on the one-hour chart, pull down, we've got a rectangle formation. So yes. the first place to sell is going to be here today because they tested out the weekly yesterday. So if it comes down here with a tight stop loss, this will be the first place to sell. Now here, one thing to be careful, if you sell there, you've got to put your stop loss above here. Okay, simply because we might have a head and shoulders here as well. See the shoulder? Head. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, shoulder. So we might come all the way up there. If it does, it's it's logical. If it does, you need to just be careful to put your stop loss above the weekly pivot then. Okay. It's going to be a bit far out, but what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> you can do something. You can wait for the hours. Okay. I sent you, I sent you the hours, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, so what to look out for today? Today you can look out for 11.30 my time, okay? 11.30, okay. yeah. 11.30 my time is not going to be a bad idea. 11.30, like midday bar, okay, GMT plus. Mm -hmm. If the market goes up and it is at a resistance at that time, that would be good to sell. Okay, if the market is at a support at that time, don't sell it. Okay, always sell at the resistance line. So wait for it. You can also draw top to top here like this. Okay, so let's say the market comes up here, comes up here, then that's mm -hmm. good to sell. Okay. All right. 
That yep. time is good. Another time to look out for is 5 p.m. again. Okay, again, 5 p.m. is on the radar. And then we should close the market at 10.45 my time. 10.45 to midnight. We should, mm -hmm. be at a, we should be at a place where the market is willing to change. Okay. Okay. So you can um, wait for those hours and trade only then and not in between. Um, yep. So that's the SP500. Let's take a look at gold. Now, yesterday we said gold, 1 p.m., yeah? We said yesterday. What was yesterday? It was Tuesday. Yeah, 1 p.m. Tuesday, 1 p.m. And that's 1 p.m. there. Okay. So this was a turning point there, 1 p.m. The market just did a bit of a retest after it broke out. Okay. Because this was the mm -hmm. breakout level. Okay. This was the line. Okay. So the market broke out, 1 o'clock. Okay. According to astrology, that was the hour. And then you can see the goodbye kisses. Mm. And then the market taking off. Now today, like we said before, this line needs to be, you know, we need to be careful about this line. Okay. Once we clear out of this zone, then we've got at least room to come up all the way here. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. This zone is still going to be tricky because we made the PST targets. So be careful when going long here. But we want to go long. Okay. And the reason is, um, the reason is um, after this double bottom, a new upwards trend would probably start it off. Okay. So we should break out. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Having said that, just like yesterday with the one o'clock bar, because anyone who enters here just puts the stop loss under the weekly. So we've got a tight stop loss. Same mentality with this one. Okay, so for mm. example, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. Okay, if the market pops its head back down again, where would we get in? bottom to bottom. All right, we'd be getting in around here on the daily pivot. So if the market pulls back down here again, goodbye kiss, um, daily pivot, this zone is again good to go in. And is this like a channel? Not exactly, but let's see if we can make it a channel. Yeah, that looks better, right? Mm, yep. Okay, so we've got a channel here. So anywhere down to here is good to go long again. Okay. okay. And we might do that today as well. And a good time to look out for is again midday. Right, 12 okay. o'clock bar is good to look out for. And also 1.30. Right, 1.30 is the time when it might say to us, this is the, this is the place. So... From 11 o'clock to 1.30, mm -hmm. if we're at a support level, that'll be interesting. Another time zone to look out for is 3 p.m. Okay, because 3 p.m. is just before New York opens. So 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. is also going to be interesting. Okay, so today we've got a few few chunks that we need to look out for. For the indices as well. For the indices today, um, 3 p.m. bar is going to be interesting. For gold, what's going to be interesting is 9 o'clock. Okay, for gold, it's 9 o'clock, so it's like in two hours. And for the SP500, it's going to be midday. And, and then um, 5 o'clock bar and 3 o'clock bars are going to be interesting. So for gold, though... Like I said, nine o'clock is interesting. When New York opens, if we make a quick dip down, um, 
it might, it'll be a good opportunity to it might be a good opportunity to buy if we're going to be at a support okay when New York opens let me just see another another time zone you want to be looking up, out for is six o'clock bar and the nine o'clock bar those are going to be pretty volatile those bars okay six o'clock to nine o'clock okay. is going to be action jackson kind okay. of hours all right so be careful mm -hmm. but nine o'clock looks like you know the nine o'clock bar uh looks like a good opportunity if the market comes down it'll be good to buy if the market comes down at midday also for gold is good to go long if it comes down at midday okay but the real okay. action is going to be during the new york morning hours looks like six to nine p.m my time that'd be your morning hours okay all right yeah. Let's take a look at euro dollar. Now the euro dollar. Okay, so it did this goodbye kiss. Okay, we said this zone was a sell zone. Okay, yeah. we said yeah. we could go up to here. So there's no surprises. There are no surprises here. It can still do this, by the way. Okay, mm -hmm. it can still do this. Next week it can do it. This is a weekly bar. Okay. Uh, and we've got two goodbye kisses happening here. But as you can see, it's done the goodbye kiss on the daily. Okay. And, yep. you know, okay, so what can you do? Um, sometimes we miss out on these if we don't follow them. Um, so what to do here? Well, you can, you can dive in here, okay, and put your stop loss above the daily pivot and just mm -hmm. follow it through. That's one option you can do. The other option you can do is, well, what is the other option you can do? You can just wait, let the market come down, wait for a day or two retracement and then sell again. Okay, there mm -hmm. isn't much else to do here. Okay, but you know, I hate selling on a support, but this is pretty tight and we understand the direction, okay? So yeah. selling here is a bit less risky, but like I always tell you, I hate selling on a support mm. line. Okay, mm. so it's your call, but it's a tight, it's a place where you can do it with a tight stop loss. Just put your stop loss above the daily pivot here, and that's it. Okay, you don't yeah. have to take a lot of risk on this one. Or alternatively, mm. like I said, you can wait for the a market to come to these lines, the the red line here, sixty seven oh six, which is twenty twenty, which is not mm. far off. Okay, which isn't too far off. Okay, so it's not yeah. really worth selling here. Okay, 2020, so this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just not really worth selling here. But if we break below this, mm -hmm. pushes down, then when it pops its head up, you just sell it. Okay. okay. So you don't have to rush it. Now, better safe than sorry. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. Any questions? Um. Now, sometimes I notice that the targets, right? So it's 40 level on this chart mm -hmm. and we don't have any target below this. Mm -hmm. uh, We've got this line. Yeah, this line is there. Mm -hmm. um, but usually there are targets up till 20, right? So, I mean, I, um, I, I don't understand how this is <laughs> calculated, okay. but- uh, Let it, me explain. Looks... Let mm -hmm. me explain. Now, because we're on the one hour chart, right? Yeah, the PST system is always working according to the one hour chart here. So if we had yeah. entered the trade and we were short on the trade, let's say we were short in the euro dollar, when the market comes to these PST target levels, we should be managing the trade. Okay, mm. we should be saying, well, I'm going to put my stop losses further down, bring them down, or whatever. Um, yeah. Before I do anything on this, anyway. I should be looking at the bigger time frame. Okay, yeah. so every week I should be starting with the weekly and thinking, well, what could happen this week? Let me just get rid of this. Let's get rid of this as well. Okay, so, and think to myself, well, what could be happening this week? All right. So obviously, mm -hmm. the market's been heading up to a resistance level. It came to our PST level slightly above mm -hmm. it, and then made a big sell on the daily goodbye kiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now that we know that. We've done this goodbye kiss. Our direction is down. Yeah. Okay. 
Having said that, the market has also been going up with a nice steep angle. Okay. So over the long term, you see the markets coming down. Okay. Yes. Lower mm -hmm. tops, lower bottom. So we're coming down. And in the short term, we've made an up move, kind of like a retracement, retesting, making a good buy mm. kiss. See how that is really close to the PST as well. Yes. Now we're mm. on target, good buy kiss and selling. Now we can follow this sell down. Okay. So yep. following this through downwards, selling it is a less risky option. So what do I want to do? Now I want to enter this trade. I can enter it on a one hour or a four hour. Now, when I look at the mm -hmm. one hour chart, it's also on a daily PST goodbye kiss, the 6706. So mm -hmm. it's likely that the market might stop at 2022, right? Yeah. And just stall mm -hmm. back up a little bit. Okay. Or it'll just break through because we're in a downwards trend going down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I don't want to take the risk of selling here on the support, which is logical, all right, I can wait for the market to pull back up. Now, where can I sell when it pulls back up? You see this line here is LCL1. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. 2029, okay? That was the first target. And look how the market bounced off two days ago from the blue line here. Okay? Yes. Blue mm -hmm. line, red line, it's all together, but there. So this blue line is obviously, you know, worth looking at for us. So if I want to yeah. sell it, 2029 is something I want to take a look at. 2029. Mm -hmm. Now, 2029, look, it's right on the pretty much the white line here. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty well, it's pretty much here now. Well, we're pretty much there. Okay. 2029. Mm -hmm. So this zone is also like a sell zone. Yeah. So what we can do is this we can be conservative, wait for a breakdown let it come up to a good buy kiss to the 2021 line and then mm. just shoot it down again and put our stop loss above the high of the day, which is there. Okay. okay. That's the conservative mm. one. If I want to take on risk, I'll say, you know what? I'll enter the trade now. I want to sell it anyway. I'll enter it now. Mm. I'll put the stop loss again above the daily. That's what I was going yeah. to do anyway. All right. Mm. I'll still put it above there. If things turn pear shaped, my stop loss is closer. Okay. And if it goes down, I have a better risk return ratio. So these yeah. are the, these are the only two calculations I can do using this method. Mm -hmm. anyway. All right. Yeah. So there's nothing much more for me to do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm either going to wait for a pull up to sell, or I'm going to wait for a breakdown pull up to sell, but I'm not going to do anything else. Okay. Yeah. So coming back from the from the bigger time frame to the smaller one, it makes more sense then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you just use the one hour chart to just manage the trade and you know just flow with the trade. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Now on the um on the, I haven't yet done the, let me just see what I have done here. I haven't done the Excel for, just bear with me one second here. These are uh, ast astrological calculations? This is the astrological one. Yeah, but if we okay. looked at this yesterday, we would have seen yeah. the Euro dollar should have been sold yesterday. Um, mm. Not to worry. Okay, just keep yeah. next, keep it in mind for next time. I guess same with yeah. look SP five hundred as well. Twentieth okay. of April is a mm. you know, is a nice turning day, and okay, not to worry with bad yeah. luck. <laughs> just following today. So yeah, yesterday we we could have just caught it right at the top and just followed it down. But you understand the logic, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Now you can just follow mm. this down. I think it's just um, easy to do it like this. Yeah. All right then, mate. Any questions? Um, no, I think I'm good now. All right, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yep, yep, yep sounds good. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Thanks, Mari.